Whenever I write about or make videos about uh, genre television or film, you know, something in the fantasy or sci-fi or, or uh, you know, any any of those departments. Um, so I'll, I'll say something critical, like this is implausible. This this the way this character acted or this this thing that happened doesn't make sense. In the Fear of the Walking Dead, it's the walkie-talkies. It doesn't make sense. And Rings of Power, the way they can just fast travel thousands of miles in like two days, apparently, and then just show up exactly at the scene of the battle that they were looking for, just perfectly at the right time. Uh, these things don't make sense, I say. This is bad writing. This is bad, lazy writing. Somebody comes in and says, there are dragons, and you're worried about this? Or, there are zombies, and you're worried about walkie-talkies being plausible? It drives me crazy. Uh, because, while I do agree that dragons and zombies are not plausible in our world, in the fiction of the world and the story that we are being entertained by, they are. Whereas... These other factors are not. There is nothing in the world of, uh, of Game of Thrones or, or, or Tolkien's Middle Earth that says you can simply teleport and find the exact location you're looking for uh, w without any kind of magical spell or something. Now, if they had a magical teleport spell that they used, I would say, okay, that's part of the fiction. The teleport spell works. Uh, but as it stands, you know, uh, when they went north of the wall in Game of Thrones and they just and then get uh, what's his face had to run back and get Daenerys and did it like over uh, in a, like a few hours even though it would be thousands of miles it makes no sense when when Galadriel and the Numenorians show up in the Southlands uh, to save that shit that doesn't make sense these these are implausible things yes the the worlds themselves are implausible but they have a certain set of rules there are rules that hold them together. You know, in Star Wars, we have the Force, we have these fantastical elements, but they still are bound by some sets of, of rules. And, and basic physics and plausibility apply, for the most part, in, in these fantastical realms. Uh, that, you know, you don't just, you don't just ignore the, the laws of physics unless there's some sort of magical explanation for them that fits within the general rules that we accept so that we can suspend disbelief. There's this meme, and it's pretty old now, but I it all, I always see people posting it, and it's it's the actor who plays Sam and uh, the actor who plays Arya, both from Game of Thrones, and they are on the Conan O'Brien show, and he's talking, and he says, a guy came up to me and said, why are you still so fat? He said, I just don't believe it. You're not eating anything. You're trekking across landscapes. You should be losing weight. I said... This is a fantasy show. We've got fire-breathing dragons and a woman giving birth to a cloud. Why is it me still being fat that you don't buy? And it's a f it's funny, right? It's funny partly because, like, you shouldn't go up to the actor and ask them that. That's rude. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Um, but the answer is terrible. It is the same mentality as these these people who defend bad writing with these these oh well it's you know, there's fire breathing dragons and this is not a good argument that he's making it's a very bad argument because there's a reason that this guy says why are you still fat and it's it's because on a fundamental level these shows are trying to be realistic right they're realistic shows it's a realistic fantasy you still have the base you know if you get stabbed through the heart you die Maybe there's a, 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 a witch who can bring you back to life, but you're still, that sword is going to kill you. Uh, you know, people still fall in love and betray one another. And if you are out in the forest for long enough in the frozen wastelands with no food, you're going to lose weight. The reason you can accept a fire-breathing dragon is because this is a fantasy world where fire-breathing dragons exist. And so you go into this already accepting that this is part of the reality of the story. But there's nothing in this world of Westeros that says that fat people who starve stay fat. It doesn't make sense. This is one reason why in a lot of shows that are apocalyptic or scenarios where people are starving and, and the actors remain a little bigger, uh, that, it, that, that, that people say, well, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense because in the fiction of the show, 
They're supposed to be starving. And yet, they're still fat. I don't know how to get this through people's heads. There, there, is, there is a difference between things, between suspending your disbelief for a fictional world and just accepting implausible elements within the story itself. You know, uh, like, like characters making stupid decisions that they wouldn't make, that don't fit their character. That's, they can't hand wave that away by saying, well, there are fire-breathing dragons. That still doesn't make sense. People are still you have it's 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 cover for lazy writing. When a writer can't think of something to make this work, they they just do something else. They, they take a shortcut. They do something that's implausible, that 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 smells wrong, audiences can tell it's wrong, and then and then you say, "Well, no. It's a fantasy." So it's magic. It's a magic thing. You know, everything can just be waved away by the fact that this is a fan fantasy show. Yeah, no. No, I'm sorry. It doesn't make sense that Sam would still be that fat. But it's still a dick move to go and ask the, the actor that. It's not his fault. Uh, but, I mean, think how hard that would be. <laughs> you're filming one scene where you're at the beginning of this trek across the, the frozen wastes. And then the next day you film another one that takes place two months later. You can't lose that weight between those those shoots. I mean, some actors do lose a lot of weight or, or put on a lot of weight for a role, but it's usually for the whole role. It's like for the whole, you know, it's it's a movie or something. It's it's really a lot to ask that an actor would lose a bunch of weight during the, the filming of one season so that at the beginning of the season they're they're chubby and at the end of the season they're they're thin and wasted away. It's just, come on. The reason and the answer that he should have given is that one. Logistically, it's not possible for the for me to lose weight between these two shoots that take place, you know, within a few weeks of each other. I can't go from from this weight to starvation weight. It wouldn't be healthy, safe. For or you, at that point, you can say, you know what? I get it. It doesn't really make sense, but. You just, this is the, you know, this isn't a cartoon. You have to accept the, the limitations of television production. Suspend your disbelief. Don't say they're fire-breathing dragons, blah, 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 blah. That's just stupid. Anyways, I just wanted to, I've been wanting to comment on this meme for a while. Now that, that my work is done, the masses have been educated, uh, we can all rest easy knowing that truth prevails and uh, the the... Demonic hordes of Satan have been beaten back. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be excellent to each other. Peace.